Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing the content of this video. Do not, I do not encourage or condone any harsh actions or behavior shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professional. Yo, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be trying new terps and also trying new pieces. Your boy had just got back from the dispensary and I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and just give a quick bust down review for you guys. And we'll have a little bit of a sesh at the same time. Maybe we'll go extra crazy and try to actually like hotbox my room or something. Because usually whenever I take hits in here, it's like I'll take one hit and then I'll stop. But we might just take like back to back hits and see how cloudy or if it even gets cloudy. It is a pretty spacious office, so I don't even know if that's even possible. But nonetheless, you guys are in for a treat because, like I said, we got some crazy new terps today that I haven't reviewed on this channel, and it is a new brand too. And on top of that, we got a new device that we're going to be using it for, using the terps on, which is going to be this right here, the Yo Can Zen. So I, you guys know me, when it comes down to Yocan products, I personally love literally mostly all of them. I feel like they execute them mostly all perfectly and you can't hate on a company that's giving it to you at a budget price, all right? So I feel like a lot of companies out there are just like, yeah, they offer cool stuff, but sometimes the price point, it really isn't worth it. This right here, you get the best of both worlds, high quality products with good prices and there's nothing more that you could possibly ask for, right? So this right here, the Zen, a pretty much breakdown. It's uh, essentially like a, a dab pen, I guess, a turp pen or whatever you want to call this shit. Like you just put your dabs in there and then yeah, man, you get to dab in. So I'm going to go ahead and read off the features, right? Heat settings, three different variable wattages, 2.8, 3.2, 3.6, 30, se 30 second safety cutoff, 650 milliamp battery, magnetic mouthpiece, advanced heating tech, and type C charging port. So, a lot of people always say, I found the perfect pen, right? I found the perfect this, the, like turp pen, whatever you want to call this. But it's really not perfect because at the end of the day, it's super expensive. Now, for me to say something like, oh, this is perfect, it has to be perfect all the way around everything from the design to the way that it hits to the battery life to how much it costs it all has to be perfect all the way around like this could have hit phenomenal but if the price point is over like you know a hundred beans then I'm not even gonna want it but this is way under that all right ladies and gentlemen so Let's go ahead and enough with the talking. Let's go ahead and crack this open. But before we do, I actually want to show you guys what terps we got for today. Let me go ahead and give you guys a quick close up of the art right there. And if you guys can't really recognize that, it's like a Godzilla fighting a Kentucky Fried Chicken bucket, and it says Josh Wax on it. Now this one right here was the Sea Biscuit A2, which is a pure Afghani Kush modernized. And it's, it's I, I'm not gonna lie, I already hit this one before, but I haven't reviewed it for you guys so it's it's new to you all right so this right here in my personal opinion it has a really good turp profile in terms of like gassiness dieseliness and earthiness and stuff like that but that's not really my preferred terping profile my preferred turp profile is definitely gonna have to be something that we got right here which is gonna be the trilogy 710 let me go ahead and give you guys the art packaging right there the trilogy 710 and this right here is gonna be let me where's the name of it all right here yellow z right so it's gonna be yellow z now if you for those of you who don't know trilogy used to be like an underground brand and they just recently went full wreck so it's pretty good to see them at the dispos and i was able to pick this one up they had a bunch of different flavors so I'm definitely going to be going back and for those of you who've already had 710 Trilogy, let me know down in the comments below what flavor should I try next. This was the freshest batch that they just got in. So me, usually when I go in, I already know what I'm looking for in terms of like strain names, brands and stuff like that. But with something that I'm more concerned about is the freshness and I, this one right here, I believe it was the freshest batch that they had and it was actually packaged only a, like a month and a half ago, which is kind of fresh. So let me go ahead and open both of these up and just get a quick little whiff of both. This one right here is the Josh Wax Seabiscuit A2. 
and definitely has like a pungent, earthy, and almost damn peppery type smell to it. And it's very, very heavy on the cushiness. And in this one, it's smooth and it does pack a punch. In my personal opinion, it is one of those more of like heavier feeling strains. And this one right here, I actually haven't had the time to smell this one. So let's go ahead and do this one. This one right here is gonna be my first time ever trying, all right? So. Definitely getting a little bit. Well, it, it just came out the fridge, so the turps still haven't like brought, been brought out too much. But definitely getting some type of like skittles, some type of fruitiness. Definitely a more mellow type taste to it. But I don't know the the way that this looks. It literally looks damn near super phenomenal. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and have to go in with this one first, but before we do that, we obviously have to bust open the device that we're gonna be using today, which is gonna be the Zen. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when it comes down to turp pens, I, I don't really feel like I use them too often. And it, may, it might just be because I haven't found the right one, but usually, I don't know, I'm not really like, if I go out, the most convenient thing for me is to carry a 510 thread cart, but I know there are people out there that just prefer to like, you know, screw the 510 thread cart, screw the pods, just go ahead and bring yourself some flour or some wax, and that's where these devices come in, man. If this hits well, who knows, I might start bringing it along with me. I just don't like having my turps like, out and about i feel like i always had like keeping them fresh here at the office and stuff like that so i never like carrying terps out because over here in cali most of the time literally most of the time year round it's going to be too warm in the car and it's not good for the terps right so and the last thing you want to do is be walking around places with terps in your pocket just kind of a strange feeling right so as soon as you open this bad boy you obviously get all of the necessities the chargers blah 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 and this right here is the main device itself now I don't think it has a coil but they do provide you a coil in here and I actually think they provide you with two different coils all right so just go ahead and screw it on as like so and I believe they call this the c4de which is ceramic which is good to know we love some ceramic over here you already know and diatomaceous earth coil what the fuck diatomaceous earth coil has it did they just make that up, bro? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I might have to, hey Siri, look up the word diatomaceous. I... Okay, diatom, it's actually a word. Biology, containing or relating to diatoms. Diatom, diatoms, I don't know. But yeah, I have no idea what that even means, to be quite honest with you. So that kind of threw me off. Let's go ahead and start it up. Five clicks goes ahead and turn. If someone knows what that is, leave it down in the comments below. But I'm not going to stop in the middle of a recording to just go check that out. So uh, let me go ahead and heat this up. Obviously, you guys know what I like to do is all the time prime the coil, right? If you do have some more of like shittier wax laying around that you could go ahead and throw in there and give it a good priming then go ahead and do so but if you don't then unfortunately you're gonna have to use your good wax or what you could do is literally just hold the button now I need to figure out though real quick what setting is which because I don't want to burn my turps right I think off of the first time using it I'm gonna use it at the lowest which is a white 2.8 the highest is a 3.6 and the middle is a 3.2 so I'm assuming yeah three clicks goes ahead and changes the color uh, the color and the temperature setting and I'm gonna keep holding this so it keeps warming up now I'm gonna go in first I think I'm gonna go in first on the Trilogy. I don't know, I kinda wanna go in first on the Trilogy 710 Yellow Z because, I, I don't know, I've been thinking about it since I got it and it's. I would love to just try it here with you guys. And then we also have been using this. Recently, my freaking Puffco hot knife just completely failed out on me, I have no idea why. But this one has been coming in clutch, which is actually another Yocam product, but it's been the only other one that I have. And it's the Blade and it's been key Keeping up like super super sick right hopefully it lasts me a very very long time I believe that the hot knife maybe lasted me I think it lasted me maybe a year to a year and a half how long have these things been out for but I did end up getting one when they first came out within like the first month or two so yeah I've had it for that long and never dropped it never got it wet it just kind of failed on me whenever I press the button it just doesn't turn on <laughs> <coughs> kind 
caught me damn off guard, bro. I was not expecting that much of a milky cloud. And it was a little bit more on the warmer side because I ended up using the green setting instead of the white setting, but it was still fire. A little bit more on the warmer side for sure. Maybe did lose out on a little bit of turfs because it was too warm, but in my personal opinion, it just smacked me. I mean, boom, from head to toe, the, the effects definitely kicked in instantly. Fat, massive cloud right there. Super good taste. You could taste the, or I taste the yellow Z. Definitely kind of tastes like a Zushi, like a Zushi type like taste to it, like it's Gittles with some type of like pungent earthiness, and it tastes straight up gas, bro. The This right here might be some of the best chirps that I've had in a very, very long time. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. And um, damn, dude. Yeah, this right here is definitely hitting. I, I have nothing more to say. I, I'm just gonna have to go ahead and I want to load it up with another one, but I feel like I have to let you guys know how the Josh Wax is. But this one right here, this might be a good 10 out of 10 for me. This right here, smoothness, perfect. Taste, perfect. Everything about it affects from head to toe off of that one fat rip. Boom, zooted to the moon. And um, yeah, man, like this device right here, I didn't really expect it to like put that much of a hit in me, but definitely it's it, it does its job. And yeah, man. Honestly, this right here, like I said in the beginning, if it ends up working well, I might end up just carrying this around. And I might just be end up carrying this around wherever I go nowadays because to be quite honest with you, that right there off of just that one small ripperino sent me to the moon and it honestly did what it's supposed to do and just being able to have that at your accessibility whenever you want is going to be able to come in clutch and not have to carry yourself a big ass like puff coat device or a dab rig whatever you carry around and it's better to just have something as small as this and it's very very small but powerful bro it's like most definitely this right here yo can just did it again bro they really executed well on this in my personal opinion for the pricing right obviously there are more expensive ones out there that are that obviously might look cooler or whatever but this right here in my opinion the design is not really too bad right get a good close-up of it right that's the button right there it glows up nice little led right there USB C. this right here is damn well worth it to be quite honest with you guys right so let's go in on this final rip and give it our final rating Mm. Oh yeah, dude. This device is sick. Bro, that was the lowest setting. Still got really good clouds. Crazy amount of turps. And boom, it just perfect bro perfect all the way through now am i gonna go ahead and give this a 10 out of 10 rating i would want to but in my personal opinion it's not my style of like i wouldn't prefer this design i definitely like would like it to be a little bit more elegant i guess you could say it, this kind of looks just like it looks nice don't get me wrong but then like if it had a different tip or a different mouthpiece it would just be a hundred times better right but this right here is a sick ass device it does what it's supposed to do it gets you smacked it gives you the right amount of turps it doesn't burn your thing it has variable wattage everything that you need at a low affordable price point right so in my personal opinion i'm gonna go ahead and have to give this a good 8.5 right 8.5 and i feel like this might be the perfect budget friendly like dab pen you feel me it would, like for someone that doesn't want to spend hundreds of dollars on one this right here is the perfect one no, look no further right ladies and gentlemen so eight out of 8.5 out of 10 for the zen and then let's go ahead and rate these waxes right here trilogy was obviously going to be a, i think i rated a 10 out of 10 right 10 out of 10 for this and then the josh wax not really my preferred turt profile but it is smooth clean heavy hitting i would get, have to go ahead and give it a good 7.5 out of 10 all right ladies and gentlemen so that right there concludes today's quick little unboxing and reviews if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel leave a fat like comment and we'll catch you guys on the next one